Uh, well, basically, my mum's from South Africa, and I've always really, since I was really young, wanted to explore the rest of Africa, maybe going to the west and eventually into the east. And I was told by a lot of people who had travelled around um, certain parts of Africa to start in Ghana. It's like the safety point for travelling around North and West Africa. So um, I thought I would, I would start there. I could also visit a lot of people that I, like I've got um, friend, Ghanaian friends in London who have family that they haven't seen for like 10 years and they said they, I'm kind of going for them as well to see their families for them. Uh, looking after the kids in the school, um, helping out wherever I could, going to an orphanage uh, most, well, most days after school, uh, looking after the kids at the orphanage, taking the kids for swimming lessons, um, wherever I was needed, uh, whatever, uh, whatever they needed me to do, I would do it, like whatever, little jobs, it was just helping out. Um, I would say I gained a real insight into uh, lots of different cultures and because Ghana is a really big country, there's loads of different cu cultures in Ghana alone, there's like quite a few regions in, in the country alone. So in each region there's, there's a different culture and there's different things so you'll just be constantly going around traveling and seeing different things that you wouldn't have seen the, the day before and just, it was just the whole, the whole travel, the whole journey was just an adventure for me because there were just new things popping up everywhere, it was, it was brilliant. I miss the kids, I miss the kids a lot, but specifically I miss um, waking up in the morning and hearing them sing the national anthem and then I look out my window and they all turn around and wave at me and say, good morning sir, I live. And yeah, I, I really miss those words. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did, I did a lot of travelling. Um, for the first four weeks I was alone, so they kind of gave me a, a mentor to like take me, take me where I wanted to go. I decided to do uh, climb to the top of the highest mountain in West Africa, I think it's called Fajito, and I went to uh, the northern region, which actually took me like 30 hours to travel to. But traveling in, in a country like Ghana is very different to traveling in a place like London, especially how there's sometimes no roads. So uh, it can be it can prove quite difficult but really fun <laughs> okay I'd have to put spectacular insane and I want to say life-changing but I've kind of used four there so <laughs> I reckon my favourite part of my time in Ghana was travelling to the very top of Ghana, well to the very nor nor northest part of Ghana and seeing the safari, seeing the, the wildlife there because I, I was kind of in the city at the start and I, I'm, I'm very fascinated with um, animals and uh, kind of like wild, wild things like that so when I travelled and did the safari that was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life so yeah I'd probably say that. Uh, it's a BTEC in teaching English as, an in, uh, as a foreign language. Um, as part of my project, I, I had to teach a, a certain amount of hours and uh, I made a lesson plan for, for each lesson that I did. I was teaching them English as a foreign language, obviously, and um, I would do a lesson plan, teach a lesson, and then I got signed off at the end. The whole qualification thing was brilliant. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I'm going to university and it's really helped me.